Hello, welcome back to Let's Play Cognition. Hi, I'm here too. It's been a while since we recorded, so can't remember exactly what's going on, but... What are you doing here? No one is allowed inside. I'm glad you think oh, Apparently so Agent Raider is somewhere where she's not meant to be. What are you talking about? <laughs> I, had a I, I get the feeling that happens a lot. Who so cordially invited me in and gave me the run of the place, actually. I don't know what you're up to, Agent Reed, but you had better stay in line here. This is a delicate situation. Well, why haven't you fired her yet? How are you connected to Scorobius? He manages the Enthon Towers, and I'm running an investigation here. I'm sure she's able to pronounce that. I wouldn't be able to pronounce that. Agent. <laughs> you tell me I think she heard him say it first. <laughs> yeah, but still. There seems to be a lot of history here. It's not the first time I've met him, but if you'd actually done your research, that information is readily available in the database. <laughs> That's a good point, actually. If you were some kind of detective, you might know things. Yeah. He helped with the scene outside, then left. I don't believe you. John was inside this building, and I guarantee he's still here now. Agent, you'd better back down. You're really pushing your luck. That's true, but that's true. What do you know about Therian? Therian? How do you know that name? How do you know it? It's not How do you story. know it? <laughs> Keep your focus on your cases. <laughs> Has she I forgotten that to. he's yeah, the he's boss? Stealing. He's allowed to know things that she doesn't. Just... Yeah, that's it. You are not brought in for this investigation. How long has she been working for the you know FBI? About this place. Years. Like, so she she's probably learned by now that there's a way to play your boss and go, yes boss, yes boss, yes boss, and then just do what you want to do. Maybe she's never had a boss for long enough to learn that, because they keep dying. I don't worry about the past, Agent, because the present is where there's work to be done. What? See you around. It works! I hope not. Detectives not concerned with the past. <laughs> Hello again, Ms. Reed. You. I have questions for you. Of course. Come, admire this painting with me, and I'll answer all your <laughs> little <laughs> questions. Okay. <laughs> that was easy. She's not really good at getting people on side, is she? Like, you start off aggressively, Hey, I've got some questions for you. It's okay, really good to asshole. see you. You know for <laughs> You're going to tell me everything you know. Please. This sort of brash display might work on terrorists with double-digit IQs, but here, honestly, do you have a warrant? Were you not in fact extended an invitation that allows your continued presence here? And can that invitation... <laughs> oh my god, what happened to her neck? ...rescinded? Now I have said all that I am allowed to I don't to know. I'm still looking at the hands, how the Listen, fingers are just a bit too long. I don't care what sort of games you want to play. If and there it seems is to be happening with all the going on so. here, not in line with the law, I'll make sure you hang by it unless you speak up now. In that case, it sounds like we have both said our piece on the matter. I suggest that you keep the tone of any future exchanges between us more cordial than this one has been. Especially if you wish there to be future exchanges. Do you think they just thought it would be really cool to frame the, yeah. the shot this way and then couldn't come up with a good reason to do it? Indeed. Yeah. Well, maybe one of them drew this piece of art and they're like, I really want to have this in the game. And everyone's like, oh yeah, okay. <laughs> and how about we also have a scene where the characters are just looking at it, the painting and admiring it because of how good it is? Yeah. Somewhere by a fleeting entertainment. Actual art, my dear, requires something of you. Hard work. So yes, an hour with the painting is not uncommon for me. Look how very cultured and sophisticated he is. Yeah. Exactly. As I already said, I am the Smith family lawyer. I bet he doesn't but even own a television. He has a picture of a television. Huh? All sorts of <laughs> yes. plans. And it's black and white. <laughs> Now my role is something a bit more lackadaisical, keeping the minor business details in order, doing a few consultations here and there. Staring at a painting for an hour. Towers. Do you know anyone named Jeff Therian? Do I know anyone? I like how they're having a conversation no. with the ceiling. Yeah, what they're just standing in the most awkward way possible. Well. Just before I don't know if you've been to many art galleries, but there is no non-awkward way to stand in an art gallery. 
Unfortunately, those were private matters. Nothing I can disclose to you. There was a lot of strife in the family at this time, but it seems like you and Max got along. More and more well. comes like there must be a really good chandelier or something. <laughs> Are you playing some sort of game? Getting yes. me to discuss the fight I had with Max just prior to his death won't implicate me in anything. You surely did not just implicate him. agent was here and asked all about this. Asked about what? What fight? A small scuffle. We were in his office one okay. night. Some oh, you've office. tricked me into revealing it. Oh dear, I shall have to continue. <laughs> what a wily investigator you are. This was its peak. I'm ashamed to say we I have to use what, I, what we call in the industry called him. tricking. You struck him? <laughs> what, you gave him a backhand or something? This was not one of my prouder moments. I had Cordelia's silver necklace in hand. I swung and gave him a hit on the head. Nothing severe. That's all I'll say about this. Okay. Well, keep watching the paint dry. I need to go. And if you're hiding something from me... She doesn't understand how paintings work, does she? <laughs> no. to obstruct the workings of the law. I am a lawyer, after all. Exactly. Lawyers never try to obstruct the workings of the law. That's right. They are 100% honest and everyone loves them. I wonder if she falls asleep peacefully in here. Yeah, probably. Probably. It's her bedroom. That's how you do it. I, I don't see the point of the edge around that bed. It would just obstruct be getting out of bed. Seven body parts, booby traps, Christmas ornaments. And it's a rich person thing, I guess. It's inconvenience for the sake of looking fancy. This must be her junk drawer. Just a bunch of knickknacks inside. My 18 month old daughter can look under bed better Could than be that. be anything under there. Alright, let's see. There's a folder stashed in here. Oh my god. <laughs> Davies. I wish we could have found this days ago. And there's clearly something being planned from the Gathams. Yes, well. Yeah, like the... <laughs> Hmm. This is an interesting page to look at. I assume you're reading the end. Yeah. Okay. Unfortunately, there are there is actually vital information here. Oh Jesus! It looks a bit like a swash sticker on the picture there on the right, but it's not. No. I hate reading handwriting. I think everyone does. That's why we stopped using it. Jump cut. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> I do feel like I'm doing a disservice by not reading this, but then again, I also think that I don't need to read it, so I won't. Yeah, I've read it. It's n you really don't need to. Hmm. It is annoying when games have this mass amount of text you have to read and then remember, remember if I don't know, but I'm assuming you have to remember this for a given amount of time. Well, it's one of those things where there's just, there's a lot of text and very small bits of it are important, yeah. but you can't tell ahead of time what it is. And I think that's why one of the problems the point and clicks had was it's this a game, so you're not living it, you don't remember things as well. About. Yeah. The one he struck Max with. Did she just steal that? Of course she did. <laughs> oh, God damn it. Okay, it's tacky as hell. But it's a family heirloom, so she gets a partial pardon there. What? Surprisingly heavy. You get a full pardon for heirlooms. It's just, you know. Erica is always so judgmental about like, everything. Yeah. Art, decoration, jewellery. Spots. I'm trying to see if there was anything that would match up with that, because 
Obviously, it's part of a puzzle, but we don't have the other half yet. I presume you have to go to the room where um, they had the fight. Well, they're going to go back here and accuse him. It's been so long since I recorded this that I'm pretty much as in the dark as you are. <laughs> I can imagine you would want to. You mentioned that you hit Max Smith with a necklace. Is this it? Agent, is it always your primary tack to bring up the same small lapse of judgment over and over, as if this constitutes proof of some larger guilt? Yes. Yes, that's pretty much our only tactic. Yes or no? Yes. I don't know what happened with the timing there. That's... Yeah, that's a bit weird. I, I sort of wish that I rewatched these things and things, but I think I just would drive myself insane. I've got better things to do with my time while <laughs> cook dinner. I was warm. I got some entertainment there out of cutting it together so it looked like I went through the wrong door and came out the, <laughs> in a completely the wrong place. I was thinking about what you said before. You said John never came in here, right? Never was in the towers? Correct. Now would you stop harping on it? Sure, now that I know where things stand. See? I found John's lighter upstairs. So I know he was here, and I know uh, you two are mixed up in something. It's not Christ. actually entirely true. Look, John was in here, yes. But I won't be talking about it. This wasn't meant to be any of your business. As I said, the situation It's a good is thing everyone is so it. easy to trick into saying this. Yes. Oh no! How could I possibly deny this? Like, it didn't occur to him to just go, I don't know anything about that. Yeah. Or, have you considered that maybe someone stole his lighter? <laughs> it's like they've never heard of theft, which is funny, because they're in the FBI. <laughs> This is actually the information you get from the folder. It's quite cryptic and annoying, but it tells you what the combination to the safe is for some reason. Why can't she just use magic on it? Yes, that was it. Uh, something right. like because the, the code's here. been changed too many times, so there's she can't see the most recent one or whatever. I see. Let's see. Yeah, some bullshit. Yeah. It's an old document that's been partially burned and then laminated back together. Okay, not a lot to go on. You haven't looked it's at it got yet. That name Jeff Therian on it, but the paper's too damaged. I can't read the finer details. There's a signature on it as well. Mm, it's almost like we Scarves. need some sort of magic way of no. recovering things. Scorobius. <laughs> Scorobius signed this. Not the family jewels I was expecting, but at least there's something in here. Just hunting down family jewels. That's isn't my favorite. Either, right? I'll just take a picture of this and send it to Terence. I like the implication the that documents are digitized she was looking for the family so jewels, to like to steal to them. The yeah. Legible. Why? Why do you need the digital copy? You can just use your magic on it. <laughs> what do you think this is? <laughs> have to stop this insanity about telling Keith and Cordelia. Max, I've told you a thousand times why we have to do it like this. There are legalities involved. Things that you are better off letting me handle. I've been reading about how you handled it. What have you been doing snooping around in my basement? Educating myself. <laughs> I might not have understood why you used me to get Keith to sign all those documents over the years. <laughs> but I understand it now. My parents weren't trying to punish me. They didn't set up our inheritance to go through Jeff Therian. It was you. And there are people who, 
wouldn't mind knowing about this. You know, people who bang gavels. Or maybe one of those FBI agents that were just here. Of course, because you can wash your hands of it. You've done what you must to take the money from Jeff down to the last penny you've spent. Yes, I told some lies and I broke some laws. I can own up to that. But Cordelia is asking questions and Keith is getting suspicious. Look at this. That was my mother's passed on to Cordelia, but Keith had it. They know something is wrong here and they're working together to find it out. I won't let you pull my family apart. I trusted you all these years, so now I'm going to ask I don't understand why he's confronting him. Why haven't he just yeah. gone to the police with this? What is this? You would never understand. All you do is moan about <laughs> It's a birth certificate. I think you'd understand. Here's the difference between us, Max. I don't need you or your pesky little sister for anything. Of course you don't. He's really the real parent of one of them. Yep. Why didn't I listen? Okay. Jeff has all the money. You make sure of that. And if anything happens to him, the money doesn't go to me or Cordelia. If he dies, it goes right to you. Get out of my way. I'm calling those agents. I'll kill you before I let that happen. Out! How did no one ever notice this before? Yeah. It's a bit of a thin premise. Oh hey, I just realized someone else owns all my property. Yay, we found the bad guy. One of the bad guys. <laughs> Yeah, no, it's not that simple. Oh, there God. are way more bad guys. What was that? Yeah, isn't she meant to be Is tracking down the, um, uh, the serial killer? Max? Yes! We'll get back to that eventually. So th basically, every episode of this is a side quest. Kind of, except they all... They all do relate back to the central thing. It just... Max it's very convoluted. Right, okay. Poor guy just doesn't deal with that kind of thing well. And of course, now we're playing oh, as good. Cordelia yeah, yeah. again. Yeah, okay. Yes. Cordelia can see the future. Yes. Keith? Yeah. yeah. Cordelia sees the future and Erica sees the past. Say. Yep. Right. Okay. What things? Keith. Did you find the switch over sort over. of? Um, I didn't want to bring it up before, but troublesome, I suppose, is the word. On. Or I've been having these visions. What no. Are you talking about? Like, it doesn't always make sense why you're switching, but you just sort of go, oh, okay, I'm playing as the other character. Now I guess I've reached some kind of checkpoint. Something is going on between Max and Scorobius. I'm worried. And now I find out Scorobius has some kind of secret room in Max's office. Killed? Are you sure about this? I know you're good at predictions, but... Trust me, Keith. This is real. I know about the elevator. I had a work area in the basement until Max and I got into that fight. He said he'd need to rethink my privileges, and he changed the code. What a bastard. You need to get into that room to find out what's going on. I don't know the code anymore, Cordelia. Believe me, I'd love to find out whatever it is that they're doing and drag it into the daylight. Is there any other way we can get down there? No, the elevator is the only way. But, wait. There would have to be stairs. I have something here that can help us. When we're done here, I'll fill you in. But they're for going up? Oh, right, yeah, you can't go down them. Yeah. I just wanted to say I'm sorry about what happened with those agents earlier. I didn't want to upset you, but I needed to help Max. Yeah, well, I guess I understand. But you can imagine how it feels to be in that position, right? To be taking a hit for him when he wouldn't take one for me? You shouldn't be so hard on him, but... Some people asked you a few questions. What was traumatic about that? Sorry. We'll sort through These this. are rich kids. They don't deal okay. with the FBI. That's all. <laughs> Take a look at this. Well, neither do I as a habit. Yeah, well. What Where is did it? he pull that from? It's the rocket ship from the Ori that's <laughs> upstairs. The thing with the planets. I outfitted it with a camera. It's an adventure game. You know, they can keep unlimited amounts of stuff in their pockets. Yeah, but he also managed to pull it out when he's wearing a jumper. If you bring it down, we can use it to capture the code we need. I'll get the camera ready. Erica usually just stuffs things straight into her chest. No, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, 
it's almost like she could use the future vision of the guy punching the code in. And... <laughs> how, how far in the past is this set? Um, this is before any of the serial killer stuff started, I think. Look at that! She just shrunk that down. <laughs> I guess we we can't give that too much of a bad thing because we play RPGs and stuff where you run around with half the um... yeah. Normally, it's not quite that blatant though. Like you don't actually see the thing shrinking down to fit in the pocket. <laughs> yeah, you need to set it up on Max's desk. Why she got to do it? <laughs> okay, let's set this up on Max. Because she's desk. the player character, so she has to do everything. There's really, no good angle that ensures we'll see everything. We'll have to just hope for the best. Okay. And he's not going to go, huh, what's this rocket doing here? <laughs> huh, no, it's got a lens. <laughs> 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 oh yeah, that's subtle. And here's the camera. Just put it on and it'll be ready to go. It's like he doesn't want to get his fingerprints on it or something. Yeah. Okay, it's set up. Now we just need Scorobius to enter. Quick, call him! <laughs> that is exactly what you do. <laughs> so they had IP I'm phone back then. What should I tell him? Sometimes well, Max and Scorobius pick up mail that he's left in the basement. Make him think you're one of Max's secretaries, asking him to do a pickup. Okay. He's only known you his entire life. Oh, he's not going to recognize your voice. Yeah. Yes, hi. Mail delivery. I'm just letting you know some sensitive mail is being dropped off. Ah, oh, thank you. I've been waiting on this. You won't recognize the number. No. Okay. <laughs> They've got these fancy you phones, but they don't show who's calling. And he won't be suspicious when he hey, turns up and there's no mail. I don't know. <laughs> Not at all. Fun. What has? Making a plan. Teaming up. Oh, Usually he's I a serial killer. And move on, but yes, yes he is. Them <laughs> I like this. I'm glad to hear it, Keith. Me too. That has to be him. Why? God, I've been so wrapped up in projects, I've forgotten how fun this sort of thing is. Shh. Keith, keep it down. We're trying to be sneaky here. Oh, right. Hello? It's your Anybody house. You're allowed to be there. Yeah. No. Didn't give people much chance to reply. I hope this works. What do we do now? Get the camera. You're able to plug it into the monitor on the desk. We can watch it there. That's not. <sighs> and by monitor, he <laughs> <means> <laughs> phone. Oh. <laughs> Why did you go to all the trouble of animating that instead of just... No, they didn't even okay. animate the thing, so like, like the, the face. <laughs> here. The thing disappears. Yeah. Uh, I just, How do I get this to turn It's on? really weird what they've chosen to animate and what they haven't. Yeah. I have to talk while you're holding it down. Press it again. What? How did you make the phone call before? See, it only turns on if it hears my voice or Max's voice. I'm going to put the Ori back upstairs. Oh, okay. Everything is back to the way it was. Great. We hardly saw anything. Yes, but those sounds. I think that... Yeah, that must be it. I got it. You both need to get out. Get away from the desk. Get out. I need time alone. What's going time on? time to think. But Max, Cordelia and I were just about to... Keith? I don't care. I'm serious. Get out. Now! Did they not give the voice actors any direction? He, he's under it doesn't seem pressure. like they did. <laughs> Something's been up with him lately. W what's wrong with giving him some space? You know how he is. You're the 
defending him? Something's going on, Cordelia, and you won't even acknowledge it. <laughs> I'm not going to have this talk right now. <laughs> this suddenly got very dramatic, <laughs> yes. Right. I'm being dramatic. <laughs> we both know who you choose, don't we? Keith, no. I can't do this without you. I need that code. Erica, you might be my only hope at this point. No, er Erica's never anyone's hope. <laughs> Also, why is Erica still helping her if Erica thinks she's the serial killer? Ah, uh, this is Erica okay, we're talking Erica, about. I know you can see me. I just hope you'll help me. I really need some help right now. How does she know she can see him? Because they've communicated before. So she doesn't. She's just <laughs> assuming. I don't know what to do anymore. I can't keep carrying this, but I can't tell anyone. I can tell you, Dad, but she'll probably just hate me for it. No, nah, he's dead. Yeah. Never mind. I'm, I'm sorry, Dad. I'm sorry. I feel like I'm failing. I just want you to talk to me again. Yes, well, that's sort of vaguely reasonable, but... Hey, Terence just sent me a message. It would be fine if any part it's of this made any kind of sense. Is. Yeah. It's not my phone. Okay. Yeah. So hard to tell what's actually significant in this game. Maybe that's the problem with those sort of things, is it's never consistent. Like, And I guess I can't have... Well, I, I don't see why I couldn't I just have... I don't understand why you won't let this go. There's nothing going on here. I have no idea... Although I love how they couldn't figure out how to get the phone to play this, so they just put the recording in your inventory. Yeah. Camera. Boss man's gonna want to see this. This just happened earlier tonight. I can feel it. John, what the hell are you up to? Well, he's a detective. He's detecting. Looking for clues and evidence. Which is something you should be doing. <laughs> it's an old brittle document fragment that would probably disintegrate if it wasn't in this plastic sheath. And I presume that's why you can't use magic on it, because it <laughs> damage its chi or something. <laughs> Does that boss really have nothing to do with these dogs? Agent, apparently. I'd advise you to finish here and leave. Soon. Okay, here goes. Let's see if I can push him just a little bit over the edge. Oh, yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Director. Maybe you can explain it to me. Why didn't you need that explanation? I found an old document upstairs. <laughs> it seemed harmless enough, but I did some digging and found out that sure enough, this Jeftharian that nobody seems willing to talk about is mentioned. In an investigation you were heading up. Congratulations, Agent. You've discovered how to use the FBI database every agent in the office has access to. <laughs> McAdams is the best. Because I actually yeah. had to have a handwriting analysis run on the documents because these records weren't in the database. They were deliberately misfiled. 
deliberately the bottom, yeah. detailing who filed the reports well, as lead investigator. You can only None deliver other than Sam. Yeah, things McDonald's. never get misfiled by accident. Now correct me if I'm wrong, but burying a case in order to protect yourself. You better stop right there, Agent. Not yet. I need to find out what he knows first. All right, yeah, she needs physical contact to do the mind reading thing. Yeah, couldn't have just tripped over and uh, just go. Oh, now we're getting somewhere. He put it in his pocket. Who could have foreseen this? <laughs> well, she needed to know which pocket. Why? So that she can pickpocket him and he won't notice. Because she's being really very subtle. Also, it's a good thing he's just kind of holding her by the shoulders for that long. Get your damn hands off me! What the hell do you think you're doing? You crossed the line, Agent. Leave this building now. And I'll see you in the morning. This isn't over. I shall now leave. <laughs> I just told you to leave, but I'm not going to make sure you did it. <laughs> well, that could have been a lot worse.